I did the meetup with one awesome inch and Chuck. And I had too many coffees. I can't sleep. Too, too many. A latte and a black coffee. So I'm awake right now and I'm doing little fiddling around, doing little projects. One little problem that I'm trying to solve for is this little light right here. It's a touch sensitive thing, it turns off. But in the dark, that see that light? That'll go off in a second. So a lot of times I'm blindly like trying to reach for this thing. Do you see the little bit of glow right there? I can now locate it with my magic finger. Open, turn on magic finger. There we go, see that? So I put some glow in the dark tape. I got this on Amazon. Guys, if you want this tape, uh, check the description. There's gonna be a link in there. I know you guys aren't gonna click it. No one ever does. So why do I even say that? Anyway, isn't that a good solve, guys? Look at that. Boing, 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 bo I can't find it. I bought an expensive 128 gigabyte card and promptly lost it. So that's frustrating. And I've looked everywhere for it. I can't find it. Have you guys seen it? If you've seen it, uh, leave a comment for me. Let me know where I put it. Battery problems, as always. What's new? Bayward's always having low battery issues. Bayward has four AGM batteries, about 500 amps, four 100 watt solar panels getting hardly any solar because I'm in Vancouver, BC. And what passes for the sun here is a joke. And I've got my battery isolator. We were talking about battery isolators versus continuous solenoids. I've got a battery isolator relay type, I guess. I don't know what's wrong. It's, it's not charging my battery like it should. I'm using a six gauge wire from the, you know, the starter battery all the way back to the batteries that are under my bed. It's just not enough. I, you really need to get a really thick gauge wire. Awesome, one awesome inch had this awesome idea. Uh, he's using um, a jumper cable. Jumper cables to start your car. He got them for really cheap. I think they're four gauge. He ripped them in half. There's a the positive and negative, right? And then he got a fuse. One of those, uh, I forget what, A and C type fuse, I forget what the name of it is, someone help me out there, and he fused the, t he, he, he uh, bridged the two wires together with the fuse, so it solves two problems, it got his wire to be long enough to reach the batteries from the starter battery to his house batteries, and it's fused, that is really an elegant solution, I like things like that, maybe I need to do that the same, I need to get a thicker gauge wire. Maybe I need to rip out my crappy electronic isolator, which also has another issue. It uses milliamps of power, and often if I leave the truck sitting for like a week or two, the battery starter battery will be dead. So it's kind of crazy. <sighs> I don't know what I'm going to do. I need more juice, man. More juice for these panels. I don't know what to do, guys. I need more juice for these house batteries. Look at this. It just dropped to 11.7. We are in the danger zone. Uh, I'm going to take you right into depleted battery danger zone. Dun, dun, oh. Right into the depleted battery danger zone. God, I just freaked myself out. I had dropped my laptop a little bit earlier. My backpack was on the bed and it fell, hit the ground. I opened up my laptop and I, oh my God, do you see that? I'm losing pixels. That's what I thought, right? But this is a scan. <laughs> this is Evernote and it's like a scan. And it's, anyways, it's okay guys. Don't worry about me. My laptop's fine. Thank you. Guys, I can't sleep. I had two coffees, too many. Too many, two coffees. Two coffees, too many. That's what happened. We're upgrading, boys. New multimeter technology. That's right. This is my clam meter. 
I haven't really used it yet. I'm reading through the manual here. Notice the thickness of this thing, right? And then look at, look at the contents here. English is page one through 15, and the rest is a bunch of gibberish that I can't read. This is what minimalism looks like. This is what minimalism looks like. This is what minimalism looks like. This is what, <laughs> there you go. Only the English, that's the only language. It's the best, and that's the only one that I care about. Thank you. Everyone should learn it. Everyone that comes to America should learn that language. Here's that glow-in-the-dark tape, and you can see I put it on the lock right there, so it's unlocked. So when I'm in bed, and it's dark and all scary, look at that. See, I can tell if I forgot to lock the van door, and I put one on the handle, too. So if I see two, that's bad. If I see one, that's okay. Check this out. Look how it's doing uh, here on my lamp, so I can I know where to put my magic finger to turn on the lamp. Boom! Isn't that magical? And then the other thing I grab in the, in the nighttime is my piss jug. You always want to know where your piss jug's at, right? So that's down there. And then I put one um, on the heater because I will uh, reach over and turn that on or off. Well, on in the in the mornings and sometimes it's dark. Anyway, isn't that glow-in-the-dark tape pretty awesome? Go get you some. Go get some, son. You know, this is the best one. I, You know, this LED lamp, I'm always looking for this thing, and it's dark because I need light, you know, so I'm reaching for this thing, and it's black. I can't hardly see it, so I put glow-in-the-dark tape on that, and that works pretty good. Look at that. So now I can see it wherever it is. Woo! It's like a haunted mansion. Under surveillance, no dumping. I'm just gonna take a guess. I don't think your surveillance cameras are working too well. Probably time to upgrade those. Hey guys, need to finish this video up. I drove to White Rock. This white light is really in my eyes right now. Forgive me, I'm squinting. I am in White Rock. Um, it's definitely a whiter population out here compared to Burnaby. <laughs> Why do I need to say that? That's just a race thing. It doesn't need to be mentioned. Um, I made it to the families, and I'm back here in my cozy little home. I got plugged in, so I'm getting electricity. We'll be charging with my 26-amp uh, charger overnight. So that is awesome. Parked on in the front of their house. And I've got this beautiful display of Christmas lights to look at. Isn't that great guys? Merry holidays.